All right, so here, glucose and the cell. So now we're gonna get, we're tying this in. Insulin and glucose. So glucose is the building block, meaning that we cannot make any energy without glucose. Okay, we need glucose. We can make energy as long as we have glucose, doesn't matter. But if we only have, only have oxygen in the mix, we're not making energy. Like say we, we had oxygen, but we're missing glucose, nothing's gonna happen. We need, we need glucose, that's the life force for us, all right? So that's why it's considered the building block for energy. Glucose is the building block for energy because we need it to make ATP no matter what, okay? Supply of insulin, so now we're talking about the insulin. So insulin must match the body's glucose requirement. What does insulin do? I asked like the what for the what. Rodrigo, what does insulin do for glucose or for the cell? So right here it says that building, that glucose is a building block for energy, right? You can't make energy without glucose. Okay, supply of insulin must match that glucose level because the insulin does what for the glucose? Keeps them together. It allows it to go into the cell, right? So without the insulin, glucose can't go in there. It's just like, hey, let me in. Like open, open, like those commercials. It's not, nothing's gonna happen. So insulin needs to be present. So whenever there's glucose, your body will dump insulin to allow that glucose to leave the blood vessels and leave the vessels and go into the tissue where the cells are to go in there and make that, that ATP. Okay, so the insulin kind of helps like siphon the, the glucose, the sugar, glucose is sugar, by the way, glucose from the bloodstream, from the vessel, and it just takes it, takes it out and puts it into the tissue around. Kind of like there's streets, streets are the vessels, and we go into buildings and we do stuff and we make money and keep this world going, <laughs> same thing. Everything works the same way. Can't deny that. That makes sense? Okay, cool. All right, where does insulin come from? I haven't talked about this. Um, I hinted. Pancreas. Pancreas, okay? Cool. So, as blood is going through your pancreas, the blood that's going through the pancreas is dumping off oxygen, right? It's doing its job, but the pancreas is also looking at the blood with the blood even knowing. The blood thinks it's doing its thing, it's, it's doing its thing, but the pancreas is also looking at the blood and it's monitoring the blood as well. It's keeping the blood in check as well. It doesn't even know it. So as the blood is going through there, it's going to monitor the glucose levels. If the glucose levels go up above a certain point, it's gonna dump insulin into the blood. So as the blood is going through the pancreas, the pancreas is looking at it and it's monitoring it. It is going through, through, through. That glucose is going up, all right, it's time to dump a whole bunch of insulin. So it's gonna make insulin, make insulin, and just dump it into the stream. Dump it, dump it. And now all the insulin, that all the glucose that was in that is gonna be taken out, taken out, taken out, taken out into the cell, into the tissue, which makes the cell, so it can help glucose go into the cell. And we'll go over that again. This is me, I didn't have to go over it, but I wanted to, there's a whole diabetic chapter that goes over this in depth. But I'm gonna leave it alone because I see your brains are glossing over at this point. So you guys. Uh, I'll leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. You guys get back to your medical assessment, practice them. It'd be nice to test. I would love to get the ones that only have the first half done. I haven't done the first half yet.